Beloved, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. There was a man who came to Jesus and asked, Master, what good deed must I do to possess eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only there is only there is one alone who is good. But if you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments, he said, which? These, Jesus replied, you must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not bring false witness. Honor your father and mother. And you must love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these. What more do I need to do? Jesus said, if you wish to be perfect, Go and sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the young man heard these words, he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. The good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The line that strikes me in my prayer in today's gospel reading is the question of the rich young man. What more do I need to do? Or as another translation puts it, what do I still lack? Beloved in Christ, this and a similar question is usually asked by someone who wishes to learn, who wishes to grow, who wishes to become more mature, whether in the spiritual life or in uh, em our emotional life. And uh, this question is usually posed, for example, in a student-teacher relationship, in a parent-child or parent-children relationship, sometimes in a mentor-mentee relationship, in a counselor-counselee relationship, a parishioner-pastor relationship, a spiritual director-directee relationship. This is usually the question that is asked. What more do I need to do? Today's scripture reading encourage all of us to ask that honest question in our relationship with God and in our relationship with each other. What more do I need to do? What is lacking in my life? This was the experience of the people as we heard in the first reading from the, the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the revered prophet, had encountered a tragic experience in his life, in his personal, in his personal life, the death of his wife. And a very interesting request is made of him by God. Seemingly, God is saying to Isaiah, do not grieve publicly. It seems as if God was saying, do not put a, anything on your beard. Do not eat the customer. In other words, God was saying to Ezekiel, do not do the religious practices that you normally do when you're grieving. And the people somehow could not understand that. So they go to Ezekiel and they say to Ezekiel, will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean to us? They were desirous of learning more, of growing, of understanding. They wanted to become more mature. And then in the gospel reading, beloved in Christ, Jesus meets a rich, young, religious, a religiously enthusiastic person who I think recognizes his incompleteness. He recognizes that he needed to, to grow more, to, to be mature. He's, an, he's immature. He's lacking in something. He's rich because he has an over-reliance on wealth. He's young 
he's inexperienced and he's religiously enthusiastic because he focuses on the law, on the letter of the law and not on the spirit of the law. And so Jesus challenges him. He says, to be perfect, coming from the Greek word that means to mature, to become complete. What he's lacking in his spiritual life, what is lacking in his spiritual maturity, in his spiritual completeness, Jesus says to him, do you know what? In order to become more mature, in order to become complete, you need to give up something. If you have an addiction and you want to become more mature and complete, what do you need to do? You need to give up that which you're addicted to. And so the missionary challenge, beloved in Christ, that is given to us this morning is if you wish to become more mature, more complete in your spiritual life, you need to give up something that is holding you back. Ask that honest question of God through a trusted person. What do I still lack in my life? What more do I need to give up? In order to become spiritually mature or even emotionally mature, beloved in Christ, you need to give up some habit some behavior, some way of thinking in order to become perfect, in order to become complete, in order to become mature. What is it you need to give up? Beloved in Christ, as this nation draws to a close the recounts of the votes in preparation to swear in the next government, I believe that each political party, I believe that each politician need to ask that question, what is lacking in my life, in my party, in my political culture? What more I need to do? How better could I have done? I believe also that as the church goes into another lockdown, it's an opportunity for every parish, every family, every religious community to ask the question in the privacy of this lockdown, what is lacking? What more I need to do? I also believe that those among us who have not been practicing the protocols necessary during this, during this COVID time, to ask yourself the question, what is it that is lacking in me that prevents me from doing those protocols that will prevent the spread of the virus? What is it that is within me? What is it that, how is it that I'm thinking? What is the way of my thinking that I need to give up so that I can develop the discipline to put those protocols in place? It's a question that each of us need to ask. What more do I need to do? to become mature, to become complete in my spiritual life, in my political life, in my church life, in my personal life. Amen.